Ah! Is that a joke? <laughs> Literally looks like she's just like diarrhea. <laughs> this is sensational. <laughs> I need to sort it out. Now I'm scared. Yeah, it makes me so happy. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So, welcome to another weekly vlog. I love filming these videos. You guys seem to really enjoy them. And we have a really exciting sponsor for this vlog. I'm working with Always, which I just cannot believe it. I have used Always pads for as long as I can actually remember. And I am going to share with you, Teddy, get out of the way please, thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna share with you some incredible sleeping tips. Now, you you guys probably know that my life pattern <laughs> That's not the right word, is it? My sleeping pattern, my morning routine, all of that has really shifted in the past few weeks. And it's actually because of always and this event I attended. So before I get into it, I got gifted this box of stuff from always and I had no idea what was in there. So I will insert that unboxing clip now. So I thought I'd open it and we can see what's in here. So we have this. Silk robe, very, very cute, very bougie. Wait, I can't even, I'm not gonna lie. I picked this out, tried it on, and then I thought, no, I have to show you guys, so I put it back. But it's like this teal, no, blue color. Can't even describe it, it's so cute. And it smells like really good. It smells like lavender or something. I love eye masks. If you guys know me, then you will know I have like a thousand million of them because I can't sleep without them. And I think this one has lavender in it. Oh, I'm not even kidding. These silk ones are the best ones ever. How scary that there could be someone like right in front of me right now and I wouldn't know. Oh, we have sleepy tea. Chamomile lavender licorice. This, oh my God, I'm so excited about it. This is a pillow spray. I love pillow spray. I love all things sleep, like eye masks, pillow spray, pillow spray. I'm actually not okay. I can't speak right now. Pillow spray. Then we have this, which I have no idea. Oh, it's a candle. Do you like her? Oh, don't lick it. It's a candle. And then the best thing of all, do you need one? Can you hear her tail going? So we have the always ultra secure night extra pads, which I'm gonna talk about in a little bit. You don't need pads, they're not for you. So thanks always for this pamper box. I'm so excited. We have like a call at seven. There's gonna be a lot of knowledge shared, which I'm excited to share with you guys because sometimes I struggle to sleep on my period. It's just not comfortable, you're in pain. So I'm excited for the tips that they're gonna share. So is Ava. Ava. Are you, are you excited? I'll take you along and we'll see what they say. We know that blue light that's emitted from laptops. Computers. Okay, back from the event, it was actually a few days ago. I actually took notes of the woman's sleeping tips because I wanted to share them with you guys. After that event, I was like, okay, I need to make a change in my life. I was sleeping at maybe 12, 30, one o'clock, waking up so, so tired. I just hated going to sleep. I used to get quite bad anxiety. So I just felt like every time I'd go to sleep, I'd just be like, in my head. Whereas now there's just a massive, massive difference. And also, can I just say, I started my period like one or two days before filming this video. So the timing is just perfect, really. So I might have some emotions all over the place, bear with. So always have these pads, which are the always ultra secure night extra pads. Obviously to use at night time, a lot of people have like a heavy flow at night. One of the main reasons that they wanted to create these was they found out that 40% of women on their periods sleep worse when they're on their periods because they're uncomfortable, whether that's because of cramps or the pad is uncomfortable and they get a really disturbed night of sleep, which is not great at all, especially when you're on your period like almost a week out of a month every single month. We can't have our sleep being disturbed like that. How cute is this packaging? The faces and the bodies. I feel like this is so in trend right now. Anyway, I'm gonna share my best tips that this lady gave me at the sleep event. She was like a sleep expert. It was actually really cool. And hopefully this is gonna help you guys. It's gonna be like a weekly vlog, so I'll kind of talk about how I've been sleeping, but also just bring you along for the rest of the week. So I hope that suits you guys. <laughs> Number one, no caffeine. I actually don't drink caffeine anyway. I don't 
don't drink coffee. Caffeine isn't good for you. It's really not good for anxiety as well. And obviously it keeps you up and awake and alert. So definitely don't have any before bed. Okay, next is no screen time before bed. Now I have got better at this. I've started putting my phone down at nine o'clock at night, which is great because then it gives me some time before bed. I go to bed at 11 p.m. I could probably go to bed earlier. It means I get a full nine hours of sleep, which is definitely a good amount for me. So I turn my phone off at nine, maybe 9.30 if I'm having a chat with my boyfriend or something because sometimes he's like, go to bed at nine. And then I kind of start to get a bit bored and I'm like, oh, may as well go to sleep now. I also journal, manifest, write my list for the next day. This notebook really comes in handy. I write in it all the time. Number three, exercise during the day. Go for a walk, see some sunlight. This is another change. So basically my morning routine, I'll kind of show you it in more detail tomorrow morning. I wake up at eight o'clock. I try walk the dog at 8.30. Although it's 8.30 right now and I haven't walked out because I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> this is your fault. I try to walk her as soon as I can, maybe even 8.15, get out and get it done. Also, being mindful of what you're watching before bed. So, watching like crime TV, scary stuff, it's not really the best thing to watch. You want to watch something chilled back. I've been loving Gilmore Girls. That is just like really zen. But yeah, these are the Always Secure Night Extra Pads. They're really great. I have been using them for the last few days of my periods. I'll let you guys know how I sleep tonight. Also, I can finally use this eye mask i unboxed it a little while ago and i didn't want to use it until i showed you guys and oh my gosh this is gonna be heaven i've never met someone with as many eye masks as i have i think i have like 10 all around my room because i've been so worried that i'll lose one because i cannot sleep without an eye mask so i'll leave a link to the always night pads linked below if you guys want to check them out let's just get on with the week i'll talk a little bit about my like period throughout and how i'm feeling and sleeping and all of that but it's a weekly vlog let's get the week going woo woo so it was mother's day yesterday i had a really really nice day we went for a really long walk i think it was about two hours we were out for so we walked we went and got some lunch from like a burger stand it was so so fun and then we walked a big loop all the way home i was going to explain the route but i don't really want you guys to know exactly where i live let's not do that Libby. but yeah let's get on with the day i need to get changed and i'm gonna have some breakfast before i go usually i have it afterwards however However, if I wait too long, I get really hungry. I have some TikToks and stuff to film. I'm on 141,000 followers on Instagram, which I just cannot believe. I have just received so much love from you guys. I'm on my dog walk. You probably can't hear me because it's really weird. Ah! Ah! It's really weird. Why did she try and jump on the bench when I was right there? Okay, Ava was trying to sit on the bench next to me. Now she's going crazy. I went on my dog walk. I started vlogging, as you saw, and then Ava literally jumped me. I don't know what she was thinking, but she just went doink, literally into my face, and it actually really hurt. So I just stopped vlogging because I was like, Anyway, I'm gonna get on with my usual glowy foundation makeup routine. It's not really that sunny today, which is great. I'm actually seeing Evie this week, which I'm really excited about. I haven't seen her for literally so, so long because we're allowed to meet a friend outside. So we're gonna meet outside. We're actually gonna take some pictures because we did this like a few months ago and it was so fun. Really also helped us like get a bunch of content done. So we're gonna do that. What else do I have? Oh, I'm actually seeing another friend tomorrow. My friend's Amy. I don't know if you guys have ever seen her before. She's like a college friend, one of my close friends and she got a new puppy. So we're gonna go for a dog walk, I think, which will be really, really nice. Because we're allowed to, like, meet someone outside now. I just want summer. I just want a haircut so bad. I need to actually text my hairdresser and ask if I can book in a haircut. Because all of my front layers, which used to be all cute and fringy, have totally grown out. And my hair is so long. I hate it. Because it's nice having long, healthy hair. I don't hate that. But long hair on me, I don't think it looks good on me. Gonna carry on doing my makeup. I will get back to you. I'm watching Gilmore Girls, so see you in a jiffy. Also, 
so look i'm in the robe and then i got sent it's so cute so i did a outfit reel on like mean girls outfits and everyone seemed to love 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 it so i'm gonna do one for friends today so i'm looking at some outfits for phoebe and i have like this skirt i think could be cute and then this one i'm not really sure because obviously she doesn't wear fur but i think it's faux fur and then like a long midi skirt i'm gonna have a look i have probably a lot more clothes under my bed but i just don't have time to pull everything out and see what i can find so i'm making do with this wardrobe which i mean i think this is a lot of clothes though i'm sure we can make it work this is the mess after one one tiktok oh my gosh I filmed a friends inspired one. I think it went well though. Fingers crossed. I'm actually going to tidy it all away before I start another one because I used to never do that and hated myself for it every single day. So I am going to tidy it away today and be productive for my future self because I will thank myself later when my room is not a big pit of clothes. <laughs> so guys, I've been sat editing for maybe an hour or so. Oh my god, I look so tired. It's because not all of my mascara has come off. I've ran out of my makeup remover. Oh my god. <laughs> You guys just see me in my true form on YouTube, like mascara down my face and all. But what was I gonna say? I forgot. Oh, basically, I've been filming for ages. I filmed a fun fashion video today that I'm editing. I had a fun fashion ad go live today, which I was really excited about. It's just been a filmy day, really. I am going to go for a walk tomorrow. I'm probably not gonna film it. It's just been like a worky, filmy day. I feel so happy. I feel like you can probably tell because I'm just like speaking like this. But I have just some amazing collabs. Even working with Always like is just so crazy to me because I've used Always since I started my period, like since I was actually 14 and 15. So I just can't believe it. And you guys seem to be loving my Instagram, which just makes me so motivated. And it's made me want to come back and really kickstart and revamp my YouTube channel. So I'm just so happy. I am going to update you if anything interesting happens, although I highly doubt it. It is a lockdown. Oh, I actually booked in to get my my hair cut which I'm really excited about because it has grown out so long. I've already said this. Am I getting repetitive? And I'm gonna get loads of layers like I did last time because I love that. I shouldn't put my fingers in my mouth during a pandemic. Probably not sanitary. Gonna carry on editing and do my usual. Yay! <laughs> Morning! It is Tuesday. So let's catch up i had a bath last night relaxed and i used the pad and oh my gosh i slept amazing i went to bed at 11 o'clock on the dot woke up at quarter to eight which is the earliest i've woken up for a long time actually and i feel really great well rested it was much more comfortable than other night pads that i have tried before so i'm going to keep using them this week i have a few days left of my period sadly <laughs> it's almost come to an end but the pads make the period and especially period at night a lot more easy because oh Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. That was one of our builders. He said they left like some cement thing. I don't even really know. He literally came in the house, got it and left. But I have my lunch now ready. It's like a wrap pizza. It's literally barely just turned 12, but I was so, so hungry. So I'm going to have this now. Mmm. I don't get how people film mukbangs like without talking with their mouth full of food. Because I've always wanted to do a mukbang, but also I eat so quickly that I don't like to sit and talk whilst I eat. I'm just like... Ah. Anyway, I'm feeling great. I feel like I've mastered the period now, like every single month. I'm now almost 20 this year, so I think <laughs> it's been a few years and I'm finally used to it. And I'm quite lucky that I don't have terrible cramps, so it's kind of easy to deal with, luckily. But I'll keep sharing any tips throughout this vlog. I had such a nice time. I saw my friend Amy for a dog walk. I'll insert a little vlog clip now. Good morning, guys. It's Tuesday. I just had a little dog walk with my friend Amy. I didn't film anything because we were just catching up. We only had like a short amount of time, but I'll insert a photo of her puppy is so cute. And I'm heading home. Oh, blossom. It was so, so nice. I haven't seen friends for so long. So I'm going to head home and get some stuff done. I'm excited. Like I feel like I've just started the day off in such a high note and I'm ready to get shit done can't wait it's not really sunny enough for me to film in my room but it's so bright in here so i'm not really sure what's going on i got some stuff from depop so i thought i'd unbox see i've been obsessed with buying like second hand clothes at the moment oh my god this is so cute 
cute. My summer wardrobe is gonna be so hot. Okay, it's kind of long, but I like it. It's like this mesh red floral print. It ruches at the top. I love it. I love it! Wow, I'm getting so good at shopping. <laughs> and then this is like a midi skirt with this ruffle. It's like leopard print floral. I just thought it was really, really cute. Can't wait to style it. And then what is this? I have no idea. Oh! Ah! Oh, cute! I wish she's arrived yesterday because I just filmed a haul. <laughs> oh my, was this gonna fit me? I think so. It's like a tankini top. And it's this like, I think it's called Aloha print. So cute. Oh my God. I love getting new clothes. Yeah, it makes me so happy. I don't know what that was just about to be honest, but we're gonna move on from it. Let's just get this day started, I guess. I'm in a really, really good mood today. Having a good night's sleep makes such a difference. I've also managed to get some steps in. I've done 5,400 steps, which is good. Halfway through, I think I'm gonna walk over about four Four o'clock then call Evie for a secret thing at like five it's gonna be a good day gonna be a good day 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 that was weird right let's go on with the day I'm so excited about these clothes right now oh my god hi guys I feel like I have been the world's most useless vlogger today and this week I just have so much to do. I'm struggling to balance it all. <sighs> anyway, it's nine o'clock. We've literally just finished eating. I had like two hour phone, actually that's a light. It was probably an hour phone call to support for my laptop because it's got absolutely no storage it just, uh, all these boring issues in life that no one really cares about <laughs> but it's annoying for me because i literally can't do my job without a laptop and obviously like the screen's totally broken so i was like how long out of interest will it take to fix it 10 to 14 days which means i have to have two weeks worth of youtube videos filmed like three weeks worth of podcast episodes oh it's just not gonna happen hun is it no. No one wants to hear me ramble about the most like irrelevant thing in the world. Like I'm so lucky to even have a laptop. So shut up, Vivian. Stop money. I need to distress. I'm going to use this candle that always sent me. And we're going to light it. But I need to put it somewhere that's safe. Is that a joke? <laughs> Is that a joke? I still have my pads on the bed because I'm a classy, classy woman. What can I say? Put this away. Time lamp. Lamp. What? I'm actually so tired I can't even form sentences. Time lapse commence <laughs> guys it looks like she just pooed everywhere <laughs> i should have done this on a disc i just sent a photo to flynn and he was like i told you because i was supposed to put these like on dishes so i'm gonna have to she just scraped that all off now oh dear it literally looks like she's just like diarrhea <laughs> I am so mature. Okay, guys, I have a very fun job to do. It's kind of creepy that just <laughs> my back window is open. If you see someone popping up there, oh, I don't know why I just said that. Now I'm scared. Now I'm panicking. I'm gonna lose my job. Okay, I am going to do a really fun job. <laughs> it's not fun. It's not fun at all. I'm gonna sharpen my lip liners because I just bought a sharpener. Also, I need a new bin. I'm mad. Oh god. <laughs> I'm mad because I bought a new bin throughout my perfectly good old bin and this bin is rubbish. So I'm gonna sit. I've finally got a lip liner sharpener and all of my lip liners are blunt. In her. <gasps> this is this a sick joke? Okay, I need to be careful that I don't smush it into the carpet. Oh my god. I swear everything is going wrong today, but it's fine. So guys, I'm back from my dog walk. It's nine o'clock and I'm gonna try this grenade. God. My life is so fun. It's blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, and chocolate chunks. I need a water too, Ava. Should we check how many steps? Oh, nearly 8,000. Yay! Okay. I'm gonna try some of this with yogurt. Also, I don't know whether or not to wash my hair. Kind of needs washing. How do you hair sauce really when it's like just freshly? Oh, I opened the package the wrong way. Mmm! Mmm! Wow, this looks yum. I need some fresh fruit to go in there, but I don't think we have any. Apple, it's kind of weird. That looks good, I feel like. I was literally waiting to see if I drop anything. Let's see, because I might have some fruit, but I don't. I'm gonna cut up an apple into slices. Is that weird? 
Okay, let's try it. It's really nothing crazy, but I don't, I'm weird with some food, okay. That's incredible. The apple makes it. I definitely didn't need that much honey. <laughs> the apple just adds this dimension of like, mmm, mmm. Like the granola's like hard, crunchy. The apple's middle and then the yogurt's soft. Wow. Mmm, mmm. This is sensational. That is amazing. Okay, I need to go get ready. So guys, I'm all ready. This is my first outfit. So skirts depop. I'm so excited to take some cute photos. Those are really horrible noises. I need to put some leg moisturizer on. Oh my gosh, guys. I did a foot pack the other day that peels off your feet. And I'm dreading when the feet start peeling. I think it's supposed to be this week or this weekend. Yes, I'm using face moisturizer because I can't be bothered to find a body one. Oh, my legs are so hairy. I'm so excited. It's going to be so satisfying, but so disgusting. Because it's just like my feet are just going to totally peel. It's going to be fun, though. I'm ready. I'm so excited to take some pictures. And to see Eve, I haven't seen her in so long. I've got a really good old playlist on. Also, now that I did my lip liners, like sharpened them, my lipstick looks so much better. My dog's barking. Does that mean Evie's here? Oh my gosh, it's been a long day. I'm so sorry. I actually haven't vlogged. It's been so busy. Evie and I were just out and about shooting on the streets. Because um, obviously we're like allowed outside together. And then we went to a garden centre. It's been pretty hectic. And I'm just back in my usual spot. Is this boring, you guys? <laughs> I hope not. I'm doing washing. Is that interesting? My life is just the same thing every day. Like, there's not much for me to do. But I found these. I didn't find them, I bought them, and that's, oh my god, I've almost eaten them all. Sorry, you can hear the washing machine, Ava gets really scared of it too. I'm gonna sit and go through my diary and sort my life out, sort it out, I need to sort it out, I need to sort it out, sort it out, what am I doing with my life, I don't know, I really don't know. Mmm. I need to put my YouTube video live. Guys, my room has become unlivable. I need to get rid of some clothes and I need to get rid of them right now. So I am going to, oh, oh my God, pull this out and see what clothes I can sell or put in the charity shop, etc, etc. Oh my gosh. Oh, where do we start? Okay, I have loads of gym stuff and I don't wear half of it because it doesn't fit me. So much gym stuff for someone that never goes to the gym. Oh my gosh, I have so many sliders. So this is what it currently looks like. You know when you start a room clear out and then you realise you just want to go to bed? Oh my god, I've got rice on my t-shirt. Oh, <laughs> uh, I really want to go to bed, but power on, power through. Oh gosh, basically I'm trying to sort out my summer stuff into this. And then this is stuff that I might sell. That's my mum laughing. <laughs> And this is gym stuff and then this is stuff that i've tried to sell but people just went by so i don't really know what to do with it okay so i have all my dresses and skirts in this pile i don't know how someone can have that many but whatever so that's one thing sorted now we just have all of this i'm not really sure what to do if i'm honest okay it's 10 o'clock i'm so tired i've been doing this for maybe two and a half hours i want to say basically almost there this is a pile of stuff to sell then the wardrobe look how much better that looks than it was before it's still packed but there's a lot less stuff but this is a mess though but you know what i'm too tired for that so goodbye next up i need to get some crates for that i'm gonna order that today actually and basically i'm gonna stack some shoes because i have too many shoes However, I'm going to go through them all at a later date. Like, I literally have so many slides and flip-flops. One person does not need that many. I've literally been drinking so much water after this Chinese my sister made me. It was delicious, but Chinese is so, like, salty. It was so sweet. It was, like, sweet chicken with a bit of sriracha and egg fried rice. It was incredible. And I'm going to have this. She is really good. Anyway, I've got my candle burning. Every single night I have to move all my pillows off my bed. I'm so tired, I'm gonna get into bed, get ready to sleep. Wow, I'm so rock and roll, what can I say? Night everyone! Morning, happy Thursday people. I have my new favorite breakfast. It's 
Ooh, it's a hair. It's really delicious. I don't know if it's as good as I thought it was yesterday. <laughs> um, no, I think it's really good. I think the apple's just not as good. So today I'm filming a bunch of fashion content and then we have a podcast recording with Hope, which means I need to actually finish planning the podcast. I need to do that this morning, I guess. It's been so busy this week, I haven't had a chance, but it's going to be a pretty fun, chilled, laid back episode, so I can't wait. Mm -mm. I so a bit of a change of events. I had like a really last minute counselling session, like I booked like an hour before, because I just like stuff happened and yeah, I was not feeling good. I don't really want to talk about it, but I got this dress from Depop. I think it's too small for me. Literally like, <laughs> it's too small for me and I'm really sad about it because it's so cute. It's like a wrap green dress. I'm going to work out how to wear it. And this girl, oh my gosh, I'll put her Instagram on the screen. She sent me these nails. <gasps> they're so cute. I think I might put them on today, maybe. And they're like stick on so I can just do them at home. And then I also got a set sent to me. Oh my god! <clears throat> so excited. Oh my god, that is so cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I love packages. It makes me feel so much better. <laughs> I feel literally so emotionally drained right now. I tried to film, but it was way too dark. <laughs> I think I've got a smudge on my camera again. The only good thing is my makeup looks cute, kind of. I need to go sit up to record the podcast. Now, to be honest, I mean, I've still got like an hour, but I might just go sit downstairs and just relax. And then once the podcast is done, I can just like have a nap, I think. In one of those days. Okay, I'm just setting up for the podcast. I feel like this is going to make me feel like really happy because I love recording podcasts. It's going to be really fun. It's going to be nice to catch up with Hope and Evie, of course. Although I did just see Evie yesterday. <laughs> I was just looking for my camera, but I'm using it right now. So I just set you up there. Is the microphone that we use. I actually get a lot of questions. Oh, I have such a bad headache. Oh my gosh. Hello. Hello. Maybe just burst through the door. Did you just want to see what I was doing? My head hurts so badly. Oh, I can't wait till we get to record in the studio again because it's so much easier just going into the studio and being able to just sit there and do it in one place rather than there's always some technical difficulty, especially now that we're filming it, actually, it makes it so much more complex because editing the videos for Instagram takes so long. Loads of people have been asking, actually, like, if we'll upload full videos of the podcast summer and i think that'd be really fun but again it would have to be when evie and i are together so that we can film us both at the same time because otherwise it takes us hours to to edit those like one minute clips so to edit like an hour and a bit of an episode down to like 45 minutes it would be impossible anyway i think i'm all set up so i've got oh that's my alarm i've got about 20 minutes and then we're gonna jump on! Oh, that really hurt my head. So guys, I'm gonna end the vlog there because I've been editing and it's already like half an hour long and I don't want it to be a ridiculously long video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Look what my mum got me because, well, it was my mum and dad. I hit 150,000 followers on Instagram, which I cannot believe. Like, at the start of this vlog, I was saying how I hit 140. I don't know what's happening right now. It's actually crazy. But I put this on my Instagram and I said I wanted it. It's Walter the Sausage dog i kind of don't want to eat him like i feel bad should we try it though oh my god it's so cute how do i eat it do i just like ow mm. oh i'm so sorry walter i'm so sorry wait should i show you guys the shed it's not finished yet but look i think i'm gonna do a youtube video where i show you guys me and my mom decorating it it'll be mostly my mom because it's more her shed but whatever okay i really am gonna leave thank you always for sponsoring this i'll leave their links of course down below so you guys can check them out i'm sure you guys all know who always are and hopefully these tips will let you like sleep better comment down below if you try any of them i actually this week so far haven't done the turning my phone off at nine o'clock and it's affected my sleep so badly it's actually crazy like i've gone back to like waking up with headaches and just feeling rubbish so phone is off at nine o'clock tonight this is the longest outro ever i'm gonna leave now you know what i am gonna leave bye